Good morning, everybody. Welcome to or back to my channel. Today, we're going to be doing a quarantine morning routine. So I go to sleep with my hair in a pineapple and I'm going to take it out. But before I take it out, what I like to do, take a spray bottle and get those edges, girl, because I am the worst. You're really supposed to sleep with like a silk cap or something, but I don't, I don't know why I really should. And so, you know, you'd be rolling around on your pillow, which also isn't silk. Um, and my edges and stuff, they get a little, a little bit frizzy, okay? So I'm gonna take just a dollop of leave-in conditioner and put it over the edges and let it soak in. I'm going on day like three or four. This is usually when I co-wash. So after I work out today and get sweaty, I'll co-wash and then I just shake until it comes down and looks like I'm wearing a mop on my head. Okay, I'm just gonna take some really frizzy pieces and give them some water because they're screaming for some hydration. And then we're going to brush our teeth before we get into skincare. I love this toothpaste from The Moon. The Moon, is that the brand? Yeah, it's Activated Charcoal Whitening Toothpaste. I think it's Kendall Jenner's brand. Or she's like a spokesperson for it or something like that. But I really like it. So I'm not going to do my whole skincare because after I get a little workout or movement in, I'll do my whole skincare just in case. I'm like, have sweat on me and stuff, but I do like to, you know, do a little soft slime, feel a little fresh. So I'm going to take this organic cotton round. Don't look at my nails. Don't come for me. Moisturizing toner. Just to get any skincare from last night off. Um, balance the pH. I like to call these just like primers for your skincare. I love me a good toner. Skin Suticals. Yeah. It's an antioxidant concentrate. I don't really know what that means, but I know that we're supposed to be in consuming all the antioxidants right now. So <laughs> I probably sound like a dumbass. Now I am going to, what I like to do when I wake up, you know open my blinds, put my candle on, put on some YouTube, and then I will start cleaning. So I'll do my bed, my kitchen, the floors. I do this every morning, and it sounds like a lot, but if you haven't seen my last YouTube video, I live in a 418 square foot apartment, so this literally takes less than 10 minutes. Let's go. Okay guys, I have to show you my new pans. I got them from Caraway and they are amazing. They're non-toxic, non-slip. I had no idea that I would always get non-stick pans and they are covered in this ingredient to make them non-stick that if it burns, you ever see your pants scratch a little or something, those chemicals can get into your food, which is just not good, especially someone who has PCOS. It's a huge, huge endocrine disruptor. So I 
invested. These definitely weren't cheap, but they're so beautiful. Um, amazing. Takes two seconds to clean. Seriously, if you're looking for new pans, I would check out Caraway. Such an upgrade. It makes cooking way more fun now. And then it has this thing, which I hung right here. And then you put the pan lids in here, which this is a studio's best friend because it's hanging on the wall and it doesn't take up any space. Right now my pans take up the little space I have in my kitchen, but I did order a floating island, which I think will be here soon, which I'm going to either put right here or I'm going to move the bar car over there and put right here. And it'll have shelves that I can put things like my Nutribullet, my pans, um, my toaster, stuff like that, my coffee machines. And then it'll also have like um, a surface where I can cook, like extra space to cook. So I'm really excited for that. Okay, so first things first, I'm the realist. <laughs> Block me. Unsubscribe. Call the police. I freaking hate myself. First things first, I'm gonna take. I've already been downing, you know, water all morning. Your organs do so much work for you at night, and it's important that you hydrate them in the morning. Anyways, this is immunity defense shot. Now more than ever, I'm taking these hoes. Super strong, but it really does wake you up. Cheers. Oh, she's spicy. Oh no. Okay, that was good. Putting this in my trash. And yes, I am 100% for recycling. My parents actually own a recycling company. But when I moved into this building, they told me, don't worry about separating. Because that was like one of the first things I asked. Like, where does my trash and my recycle go? And they were like, we have a service that separates them for you. So somebody goes in, God bless that person, and separates the recyclables from the trash, which I think is really cool and innovative. And power to the people, okay? So I'll just put this in my trash. So now's the time where I kind of like sit, relax, Check my text from the night before. Go on TikTok for a bit, just a bit. TikTok has been my ish lately. It's just so fun and light. And I think especially at a time like right now, it's nice to consume content that isn't so serious. And yeah, I just think it's so fun. I've also learned a crap ton of recipes on there. Um, I've tried the fluffy coffee. Guys, a serving of instant coffee is like one teaspoon, and the recipe calls for two tablespoons of coffee. Like, I'm sorry, I just don't think anybody should be consuming that much caffeine in one sitting. Also, two tablespoons of sugar. Anyways, I need to consume water. I get dehydrated so overnight you know not sleep but not drinking water for seven hours in the morning <laughs> my body is like uh, uh. okay yeah so i made the fluffy coffee i've made banana bread i've made um bread and <clears throat> that freaking shot was intense i've made bread and mugs um what else did i do oh i made this like those like bagel sandwiches um Oh, I made Sour Patch grapes. It was so good. It was a green grape doused in lime juice, soaked in lime juice, and then you put it in sugar. I use monk fruit sugar because it doesn't raise your glycemic index and it, you know, doesn't spike your insulin. So, yes, monk fruit sugar. I'll probably talk about that in another video. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm going to keep drinking my water. I also need to pull up my laptop, respond to some emails. I'm still working part-time, luckily, thankfully. Giving me something to do with my day. So I need to respond to some emails that I saw came in last night, but I wasn't going to respond at like 1 a.m. And then it's also May 1st, which means the rent is a go, okay? So I'm gonna clench my freaking butt cheeks while I pay that. And yeah, I'll probably do a time lapse over this. I'm also, I know a lot of morning routines on YouTube. I watch them all the time. I think it's so funny 
that we watch people doing like things that we all do like i'm sure everybody starts their morning you know brushes their teeth does a little skincare cleans you know responds to stuff breakfast a little movement like we all do the same things yet i'm so captivated by morning routines like i freaking love that any type of routine i'm a freaking virgo morning routine night routine pamper routine self-care routine dick appointment routine literally any type of routine i'm into it i think it'd be funny if they did not funny i think it'd be interesting for somebody like if you're a psychology major a psychologist or you just like have knowledge in that field did some type of case study on people you know watching things on youtube like it's funny my sister whenever i have youtube on the tv and i follow a lot of lifestyle bloggers like i love them i love seeing what they're up to every day i love any type of vlogs that's why i kind of want to make my channel like that because that's the content i like to see and even if it doesn't have any views <laughs> it's like content i like putting out but anyways she wa she walks by and she's like what like how could you sit here and watch this all day and i feel like it's two different personalities i can literally watch somebody go grocery store go to the grocery store walk their dog chat to the camera a little bit show me like what they had for breakfast and be so entertained and some other people need to be like stimulated that's me i like reality tv not saying there's like a lot of drama in the vlogs that i watch but i just like seeing what people do every day like i'm into that let me shut up and get to my ish oh yeah last thing this is where i was getting at i go on freaking rants um i see a lot of morning routines they have coffee first thing when they wake up i can't do that i wish i could i need to hydrate first before i dehydrate but don't worry coffee will be happening <laughs> shower doing a little hair care if you will guys if you want to see a full you know curly hair routine let me know i'd be so happy to do that look at this length honey um i did the big chop three years ago and i was a bald headed if you're thinking about doing the big chop this is your sign that you should do it best thing i've ever done in my life I got to fall in love with my hair again. It was a huge self-love journey, trust me. And I think I'm like deciding if I want to put a little makeup on. It's kind of nice to put makeup on in quarantine, just remind yourself you are that bitch. I'm trying to focus on the pros of quarantine, like, you know, falling in love with cooking, getting my hair nice and healthy, you know, reconnecting with old friends and stuff like that rather than the cons just because, you know, you have to be able to adapt to what you can control. And like, I can't control Corona. Miss Corona is on her own. She's doing her thing. I can't stop her. The only thing I can do is stay home and stay safe. That's how we can all stop her, actually. But anyways, let me sip my tea. I'm focusing on the things I can control and reminding myself you know how blessed i am i have a roof over my head um i have my bills paid i'm healthy i woke up this morning you know we're gonna take the wins where we can 
So I don't think I'm going to put any concealer on. I think I'm just going to do a little bit of blush. A little bit of eyebrow gel. Put on a little bit of mascara. And then the last thing I'm going to do... Okay, so I put on mascara and then I put on a little bronzer just to give me some color. I do have acne scars from my um, oof, my hormonal acne that I had when my PCOS was at its worst. But we're just going to let her be because whatever. Who cares? Not I. I'm going to put a little bit of highlighter on. This is like... I don't even know what to call this. It's not really like a highlighter because, well, it's a highlighter, but it doesn't have any sparkles in it. And it kind of just, see how it just like kind of makes you sweat. And I love that look. I love to look like I just participated in a marathon or something. Okay, I feel so fresh, so good. I make some breakfast. My quarantine outfit, just a big flannel and some comfy biker shorts and of course some slippers. This is what I have almost every morning. Two eggs and some chicken. Kind of have you in a weird position. But I'm also going to make some iced coffee. I got this new machine and if you follow me on Instagram, you already know the catastrophe that happened. I ordered this iced coffee machine. Well, it makes any type of coffee, but I specifically got it for the iced coffee. And this carafe, I dropped literally two hours within getting it. This is glass, so it went everywhere, so I had to get a new one. I have Dunkin' Coffee, not like the highest of quality coffees, as you know, but it just does it for me. Like the iced Dunkin' Coffee, my favorite. So you fill this up all the way with ice and then it brews it a really high concentrate so that um, it's not watered down coffee. That's like the whole reason I got this machine because I have an espresso, I have a French press and I always try to make iced coffee but it just always tastes watered down and it's just not it. Choose which one you want. So I am making a full carafe. And then you just press over ice. And then it will start to brew. Okay, so she's brewing right now over the ice. And then I'm going to put this in a big jug so I can have it all week and not bring this huge machine out. But once I get my floating island, that is where she will live. You can also make um, like any type of specialty drink. They have classic, rich, over ice, or specialty. So you can make like macchiatos, Americanos. They gave me like a whole book full of recipes, so I'm really excited to have fun with this thing. Okay, so I have my breakfast, my iced coffee, and that is pretty much my morning routine. I feel the sun coming through the window, so I'm definitely going to go for a walk and just enjoy the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and if you need anything, somebody to talk to, somebody to vent to, somebody to, I don't know, just be there for you during this time. I know a lot of people, you know, are living alone and quarantining alone. That can be really tough for their quarantining with like, you know, abusers and et cetera, et cetera. So just know that I am here for you and I hope you guys all have a lovely week. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.